Hello, what's going on? My name is Brandon. Welcome to Audio Addiction. Uh, if you just wind up clicking on this video, thank you for watching. Uh, I've been documenting my journey through K-pop with my two co-hosts, Therese and Alex. So come join us live on Twitch every other Monday and every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Would love to see you in the chat. Um, there's going to be a link in the description to go check out the Twitch. But as well as that, thank you for watching the video. If you like it enough, we'd love to see you come back, and uh, hopefully you'll be joining me on my journey. So thank you so much, and uh, catch you in the next video. Welcome. Yeah. Feel free to lurk. We love it. All come right. back Wednesday for more G-Friend and VVZ. Yeah. Let's not be like a second name for the G-Friend fans. Is that the VVZ fandom? Oh, that would make sense. Possibly. Spica? Is it, yeah, is it Spica or Spica? Uh, I don't know who recommended this. Somebody recommended this, or somebody submitted this. Anyone? Any takers? <laughs> Someone <laughs> take credit for it. Um, oh, hot take oh, oh, let's go. All right. Let's go. Glad you're here. I don't know what we'll do. Yeah, if we, <laughs> yeah, if you were not here, we we would spin the wheel again. <laughs> speak up. Speak up. Oh, like speak up. Oh. Ah, interesting. All right, let's hmm. do a little wiki search. Or Tay, if you would like to give us the lowdown. Let us know. Yeah, feel free. None of us know anything about Spica, so uh, a give us any, any info. In 2012, under B2M Entertainment. 2012? Hmm. Yeah. I was going to make a joke and say Spica up, but that was really terrible. I mean, that's... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Is there an old one and a... Youthful, is there an old one? one and a new one? Yeah, oh, is there? No. Oh, God. Are we repeating names now? Speak at 2.0. No, that can't be it. Huh. What? Uh... <laughs> okay. Well, I, okay. Hey, let's, just, let's just do it. I think okay. we yeah. <laughs> Hot Take Taste says, uh, okay, so think Mamamoo vocals on crack. Okay. I mean. This is the I, one. I can't imagine. What I'm is the new honest. one? I'm about it. I'm about it. <laughs> well, while Therese finds the new one, we're going to listen to the old speaker, I'm pretty sure. So. <laughs> oh, it's muted. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'll just go back. I was looking for a specific spot in the last music video.
Interesting. Wow. All right. Yep. What a trip. That was, I I believe the correct pronunciation was uh, Spica. So Spica, uh, their song Painkillers. So if you're just joining us, man, what a mood. Damn. Uh, what year did this come out? This came out in, 12 years ago, uh, March 28th of 2012. 2012. Wow. That's like, Ooh! wow. I did not recognize Boa at all. <laughs> you got comments on wait, that short pink wait, hair was Boa. Boa? Boa? Yeah, yeah, and the pink hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, everybody what? kept saying that. Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll try to go to a full shot. That absolutely not SM Boa, right? Different Boa, different Boa. Okay, I okay. was like that does not look I like say, I, Boa. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, I, it's not me finding out right now that Boa was in a girl. Like, a girl right? In, like <laughs> Oh, okay. he's always a soloist. Oh my god, different bow. All right, all right, different one, different one. Okay, <laughs> thank god. All right, well, while we're talking about that boa, um, Jesus, she has a crazy voice. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, crazy man. I'm 100% so 100% <laughs> boa success, success rate right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> her first group has got the beat. <laughs> we don't talk about got the beat. <laughs> We did um, talk about God the Beat, though. <laughs> left that in the past. All right. This boa, though. Um, the first thing I thought when this song, uh, like, halfway through, is I'm so glad to not have the, the member with the short, like, the bob and the sunglasses rapping. Uh, that's, like, the, oh, the that... biggest blessing you can have on, like, a mid 2010s group with like a short haired member is for them not being a rapper um <laughs> her voice is crazy she had so much grit and yeah like oh yeah personality in her voice uh, it was really impressive also the girl with like the on the right in this screen with like the cornrows mm -hmm. yes um, yeah she was great too you know a lot of grit vocal grit as well too yeah, super impressive voices. Like the harmonies were nice. I, I thought it was very reminiscent, obviously, of like early two thousands, maybe even late nineties, like R and B kind of stuff that we were hearing with I don't know, Destiny's Child, oh, TLC, yeah. Oh, yeah. that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. Um, very heavily inspired, even with like the dance moves, just like the kind of the, the swing and snaps and the the stuff that's just kind of moving with the the groove of the music. Not really like anything um it, it, you know they're not doing the same choreography as other groups at that time they're not doing you know big bang and 21 choreography they're doing stuff that makes sense so i'm surprised like uh i've never really heard of them before can tay can you uh elaborate on like if they would had much success or if they were like a smaller group or i'm um, just curious on uh what their deal was i like this a lot yeah, in was... my searchings for a new Spica, which we found out was a different group called Spia, or S-P-I-A. <laughs> Missing um, a letter. There yeah. was a subunit that debuted in 2017. So if it was a continuation, like they must have been doing well enough to stay as a group or branch off into different units. So, hmm. I mean, yeah, they are a really good group. Agreed. <laughs> 
Yeah, big um, facts. Did you want to go next, Teresa? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go next. This is, like you said, a very like Destiny style TLC. The pop R and B um, sound uh, so much so that you know it's it's it, I, I'm past the point. I don't think I'd add it to my playlist now, but I still appreciate it. I think it would work really well on a playlist of older pop R and B music. So. Very, very good vocals. I think someone mentioned not Mamamoo at the beginning. I yeah. It was Tay, yeah. That was very good <laughs> preface prefacing for this. Um and I thought the you know, the styling honestly one of the better of twenty twelve <laughs> of twenty twelve music videos. Like that they had the high quality camera, they had some they were like popping off in the eyeliner I wore in like high school. <laughs> like, yeah, I I'm kind of digging it. It's not as cringy as it could be, I guess. <laughs> Which is definitely like something to worry about with yeah something from 2012. It's also just very simple. Like, a, it's a very simple beat. It's a very simple set. Like that yeah, run down yeah, yeah. alley set. <laughs> um, so it, it's. It's a lot more palatable than if we had like a million different cuts into different areas that are all dated. <laughs> um, I like it. I I really like this group. I w I would agree. Yeah. I were you gonna say something, Alex? I was just gonna clarify. Um, Tay added a little bit of context, and I guess they weren't super successful. Uh, shitty company. Um, Boa and Bo Young, the girls to the left and right of the screen, uh, had a duo for a little bit where they were running their own promotions, but they disbanded due to costs Aww. and stuff. Mm. Uh, it's a shame. Um, I don't know what they're up to now, but hopefully they're doing something with their voices. Yeah, I would agree. Um, I think what I liked about this was kind of the simplicity of it. You know, I think when I think of some of the the artists that are coming out now, I think that there is that level of maximalistness that you have within K-pop, and that's no disrespect. I enjoy a lot of that sort of stuff, but I think there is something really nice about this song that it it's just so clean, and you can hear all of their vocal tones in such a unique sort of fashion, and I'd also say it's like you, you can't really hide behind anything because the the musicality is not there to kind of hide behind anything so if you are a good singer you're only proving yourself more as a singer to do this uh, justice if you keep singing it because everyone's going to be like oh my god they they can actually sing that's crazy um so i think for me that was what was really impressive about it just kind of the minimalist nature of it but not in a bad way just kind of again accentuating what they're already doing well um, I would agree with Alex. I think I kind of do like the two people on the corner of this screenshot here. But I also like the one to the um, the middle to the left, closest to the one with like the mm -hmm. pink bob. I I thought she was also really great as well. Um, but yeah, I I uh, really thought this was solid. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to go check out some other ones. Uh, Tay, if you want to leave some other ones for us to check out, you should let us know. Um because this was great. I uh, definitely would love to give them more love if possible. So, um, yeah, Speak was great. Uh, definitely, I would agree with Alex mostly, because, like, even in so sort of the musicality felt very, like, Destiny's Child. Like, I love the minor tonality that this song has. Um, and I think they do a really great job of playing with the emotions. Uh, though I will say there was one shot where... Uh, one of the members had like those big like white sunglasses and like a ha like a cab kind of like tilted to the side and took me out of it just for a little bit just because I thought it was very funny and uh, I know it's not supposed to be funny but it was very like jarring <laughs> in that way that I wasn't expecting it but <laughs> otherwise otherwise a really great one so uh, definitely give us some more to add to this wheel for uh, speak up because we'll definitely check them out hopefully Fingers crossed we'll get another one soon because that would be sick. But, yeah, cool. Shout out to Spica. Hopefully the ladies are doing something something cool with their lives now. Who knows? And back to the wheel we go. And back to the wheel we go, guys. 
Uh, Tate asked, has anyone recommended any Big Mama? I would assume not. I don't think so. Uh, I haven't really... I, I know about Big Mama. Um, I don't think anyone's really recommended them. Uh, I'm curious to... They're just like a really, really strong vocal group. Ooh. Um, okay. I think they were... What company were they under? Were they under YG? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, this know. I don't, I don't know. Okay, okay. I don't remember. Um, Let us somebody the can... oldest K-pop stand here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. It was, it was YG, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're just really, really good vocalists. I feel like they that would probably be good to check out like a song or two from them, but I, I feel like... Ooh. I feel like, like when you just have a group that's just all really good singers, there's not really that much to talk about, like other than just complimenting. Listen, we hype them up, all right? So we do here. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think I think checking out a song or two from them would be cool. They're very, like, like Mama Moo are great singers. Big Mama are crazy singers. Oh, <laughs> okay. They gotta live up to the name. Yeah. Uh, Ofra, thank you for uh, chatting. Well, they were. Come join if, us. if I'm not mistaken, they were uh, specifically like a vocal group. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it debuted in 2003. That's oh crazy. my god! <laughs> wow, I was a nice, mm. nice young kid at that time. So, all right. Anyway, yeah. 